Hello, my name is Mr Hallam, the Head of Year 7, and this is a presentation regarding the Year 7 residential taking place later this year. We have been able to secure lots of places for Year 7, and we are looking forward to taking as many as possible. This will be taking place in Pembrokeshire in Wales, with our activity provider TYF in partnerships with St David's Bunk Barns. And this presentation is going to be going over lots of information that you need to be aware of. There's also a short video from TYF and St David's Bunk Barns showing what the students will get up to. As you can see from that video, there's certainly a lot to look forward to for the students. The trip will be on the Wednesday the 6th of July until Sunday the 10th of July, and I've been able to secure enough places for 120 students. The total cost is £450, however this does include transport, full board accommodation, activities, trip hoodie and insurance. There's also support available for pupil premium students. I do recognise there's a large amount of money to, be, to pay, However, I've put together a payment plan that you can follow. For those students that do remain in school, they'll be taking part in a mixture of timetabled lessons as well as provide activities from external providers looking at wider areas of the curriculum. With any residential, we try to put together a payment plan. A payment plan is there to help parents and carers spread the cost of the full payment over as many paydays as possible. The amount due is the minimum that is due on that particular date. If you would like to pay more, you can do and this will be tracked through WisePay. If you have any questions regarding the payment plan or need support regarding pupil premium students, please contact myself or Miss Thompson in school so we can look at how to support you with the payments that are due. A brief discussion about travel. So we'll be using Hamilton's coaches who we have a long-standing relationship as a school as they are a provider for morning and afternoon travel to and from school. We'll also be taking a school minibus. That is there just to support students getting around and in the event of any emergencies. Let's take a closer look at the activities at TYF. Firstly, TYF is an experienced activity provider who have been based in St David's in Pembrokeshire for over 25 years. 
They operate surfing, beach games, coastal explorer, mega surf, coastal walk and kayaking. And for students, they're going to be taking part in these for at least half a day, or in some cases, a whole day. So for example, they might be surfing in the morning and playing beach games in the afternoon. The Coastal Explorer is a whole day activity where students will be exploring the coast in kayaks, sometimes getting out the kayaks and jumping into the sea from different heights. The Mega Sup stands for uh, Stand Up Paddle Boarding, which is increasingly popular around the, around the world as well as the UK. The Coastal Walk is a geography based so students will be looking at different geography in the local area and understanding how the UK came to be. And there'll also be some kayaking, again, linked to the Coastal Explorer. So there's lots of activities that will be done throughout the day, but there will be more, and I'm going to be going over them now. With this residential, there's going to be lots going on. So in the afternoons or the evenings, students will have the opportunity to take part in different events. So we're going to have rounders, beach games, which is almost a private beach near where we are staying. We're going to be playing cricket. We've already discussed the coastal walk. There'll be opportunity to have little kickabouts playing football. There's going to be some campfires. There's going to be opportunity to fly kites on the beaches. We're going to have a quiz night. We're going to have games of capture the flag and as many things that we can do. Obviously, many of these activities could be weather permitting, but we're going to have, to have lots of activities backed up just in case we are stuck inside in the evenings. All the other activities that have already been mentioned obviously can be weather dependent. Should any activities change, our activity provider will, will be providing us with a su suitable alternative. Now, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is putting the students into different tribes. Now, part of the trip cost includes a hoodie. Now, this hoodie is not only just a memento from their time on the trip, but it's also going to signal which tribe they are part of. The names are yet to be decided, but these tribes will form at, during the week and will be taking part in different activities. These activities will give them points, but they'll also get points for um, their teamwork, keeping their rooms tidy, their organisation skills, supporting one another, and will reward the leading tribe at the end. Now, these skills are, are all really important that they will develop during their time at school, but also gives them opportunity to practice in this sort of environment. Let's look at accommodation. So TYF work in partnership with St David's Bunk Barns to provide accommodation for their groups during their stay. St David's Bunk Barns are based in an amazing location that's bang in the middle of two beaches which students will access during their stay. At the Bunk Barns, students will be split, depending on how many boys and girls go on the trip, into single sex rooms. There will also be a room in each barn which will have staff that will be there available should students need them during their stay. Staff will always be on hand during this visit. Each bunk barn has an area where they will be eating and they will obviously be able to shower, go to the toilet, etc. in certain areas. Some of the bunk barns also have their own fire pits outside. However, all students will have the opportunity to access these. Depending on the weather, we'll also be looking at doing things such as uh, movie nights outside under the stars. Now on a trip such as this, students are going to t burn a lot of calories, so they're going to eat a lot. And all food is provided, and that includes breakfast, lunch and dinner. All dietary requirements are fully catered for, and we'll ensure before we go that all students feel that there's something that they would like to eat. And we'll also share with you the menu plan before we go, should any students feel that there's nothing there for them to eat. We will make sure, working with St David's Bunk Barns, that there is something for them to have. As already discussed, the evening activities could look like this depending on the weather and we'll look at including as many as we can during our stay. So what happens next? The first thing that definitely needs to happen for your child to school place is a deposit must be paid through WisePay by the 28th of February. As I've already said, there are 120 places on this trip and there are 200 students in Year 7. So we are operating a first come, first serve basis. You receive a second letter once your place has been confirmed on the trip, detailing some other things that you may need to know. Students who are still at school during the time of the trip will be taking part in a mixture of normal lessons and we've already mentioned potentially bringing in some external providers and looking at some other activities that we're not normally be able to do in lessons in school. Parents and carers will also then be 
invited to an information evening before we go on the trip, where this will provide you an opportunity to ask as many questions as you like and to get an overview of everything to expect for your child while they're on this trip. Now, it's important to recognise that the picture for COVID-19 could change. We've all experienced it over the course of the past two years. So insurance does cover this, and as a school, we will reserve the right to postpone or cancel the residential should the national COVID guidance change. Finally, if you have any questions regarding anything I've gone over in this presentation, please contact me at patrick.hallam at coibusinessacademy.org and I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. If you are the parent or carer of a child who is entitled to pupil premium funding and have any questions regarding this, please contact heather.thompson at Coy Business Academy. I look forward to welcoming as many Year 7s on this trip as possible, as it will be a great reward for the excellent start that they have made at Coy Business Academy this year.